Hey, how's it going? It's Peter from the Film Scoring Department at Berklee College of Music. I'm going to be working in Reason today to program some patterns into the sequencer. I've already been using the Reed Drum device to program some drum patterns, and if you'd like to see a video about how I did that, look for a link in the description. And I'll show you what I have here. If I click on a pattern button here, number one, I've programmed in, and I hit the Run button. You can hear that I've programmed in a rock and roll drum beat. Pattern 2 is a lot like that, but it has a, a fill. Pattern 3 is uh, a variation that has uh, a ride cymbal. And what I want to do in this video is, is combine those various patterns into a little song inside the sequencer. Don't need the browser for this, so I'm just going to close it and get it out of the way. Do need the sequencer, so I'll raise it up. When I when I made the re-drum track, Reason automatically put a track here in the sequencer for me, so that's there. But what I need to add to the track now is a pattern lane. So I'm going to control click on this icon and bring up create pattern loop lane. And you can see that this track just got a little taller and there's a new area in there that says pattern select. You'll just note before I go any further it's important that the enable pattern selection button be lit up and the pattern button be lit up. With the pencil tool, I can draw in three regions to represent the three different patterns that I want in this song. Click and drag, and I'm drawing in from measures one through three, a region. I'm going to draw in a, a separate region for measure four, which will be the measure that contains the fill. And I'm going to draw in a region for measures five through eight which will be the third and last pattern. And with the pointer tool, you can change this second pattern region by selecting it and clicking on the little black arrow. Choose the second pattern, which is my fill pattern. Now it says A2. That corresponds with this selector here. And the last pattern is going to be pattern number three the variation with the ride symbol. Now when I play the sequence, you'll hear the main rock pattern on measures one through three, the fill in measure four, and the ride symbol pattern starting at measure five and continuing on. 